What's up dudes and dudes to the internet? My name's Sayushi or Scythe, whatever, it doesn't even matter anymore. And we're back again for some more Half-Life. After I got to sit with it and, you know, kind of spend some time, like, I I'm recording these, like, once per day rather than stocking up on them. Which is really nice, because then I get to read your guys' pleasant comments, which, uh, you know, we had some pretty good support on this series so far. And I want to say thank you for tuning in. I also ended up getting some fantastic fan art, which uh, I'll put in the video right here. Someone tweeted at me who's watching the series. It's awesome. I thought that was hilarious. Thank you so much for that fan art. It's been a long time since I got some fan art. Now... I got some updates for you guys that are going to be watching this series because, uh, you know, having some time to spend away from this rather than just bulk recording, it gives me time to look at it through a spectator's point of view. So I got to edit the video and then I was looking at it and I'm like, you know, I, I noticed the head bobbing was a pretty big thing. Uh, so one of the things that I noticed, I, I went and did a little bit of research and there's actually some spectator settings right here. So I've turned off the HUD. Let me know if you guys want to see it in the video, but the HUD is just exclusive to you guys. So what happens in this game, and just most VR games, is uh, there's our health bar, and then when we have our gun, there's our ammo. The reason why it could be useful to have all that stuff on the HUD is because most VR players tend to just look down like this, just out of the corner of their view, and you guys might not actually see the full health bar. So I'll I'll do my best to regularly look at that, but I wanna have a more immersive experience for you guys. Also, the biggest difference is uh, this camera smoothing thing. Uh, I'm also gonna change it so that the spectator eye is coming out of my right eye, because that's what I aim with, because my right eye is, you know, my dominant one, if that's even a thing. But uh, camera smoothing, we've cranked that up to 11, and that's not going to make a difference for me, but it should make a big difference for you. I hope. And on top of that, just the way that I've been playing this, you know, we can already end up going further. But why would we do that? I need to desperately start exploring a little bit, because you already notice even right here, there's some, there's some more goodies. Because uh, I, I ended up watching another person playing through this game. Just just at the beginning. Not like super far into it. <clears throat> and I noticed that they had so much more resin than I did. So it's like, clearly I'm not playing this game right. Like I need to play this like a Half-Life game. And I can't stress enough how much different it is for me playing this than it is for you guys just watching. Like, it's so insane. And it's gonna take me a little while to get used to the controls and stuff, because with the index controllers, it's a little bit more intense than uh, the average VR game. And I mean that in the best way possible. It just means I gotta get used to different individual finger movements, and it's like, this game does it extremely well. It's just the one thing that I notice about this game is it's very different than most other VR games. Oh, snap turning is still a thing. Uh, apparently it is a bug, but they haven't fixed it yet. That's another reason I want to do this as just to uh, record it the day of, because I'm hoping... <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that they can hotfix it soon. That was a head crab. Any more resin in there? God damn it, dude. Okay, I have no body. I'm I'm really looking Wait, forward to Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am so looking forward to the scary moments of this game. Cuz I love horror in VR, guys. <laughs> Why isn't it dying? Ah! Yep, there it is. Found it. Probably a You Okay. Yeah, probably only one of them, exactly, yeah. That's- that's great. Oh my god. That scared me so much, dude. What was that? There's probably something else over there. I hear more head crabs, man. Okay, good. Good? Why is that good? But yeah, I'll, I'll try not to use the snap turn, which means I gotta turn around a lot, which kind of sucks. Nothing in there. Because I can get tangled up in my wires. Hey guys, look. 
It's a valve. Wait, what? Oh. Man, if I knew that that was already the end of that level, I would have... This is where I would have ended the first episode. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, well. I wonder how much... Yeah, so that's the first level. That's the second level. That's the one we just did. I wonder how much there is to this game. I really thoroughly hope that this game is really, really long. No. Radio silence since he got on the train. Damn it. Well, the good news is he's probably fine. How He's so cute! You know because they're taking him to Nova Prospect to torture him. That's the torture place. So they're hardly gonna torture him before they get there. So he's fine. Logically speaking. Okay, you know what? I'm actually noticing, oddly enough, I'm aiming out of my left eye. So I'll just change that so that you guys can actually see what... Whoop. See that in the game. Oh no! We're gonna, like... Yeah. Pulling things over to you is very different than most VR games, but it does work. Like, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty intuitive. I don't have whatever item we need to heal up. Are we doing good? Well, we're missing one heart. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you alive? No, he seems okay. I'm hearing all these... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <sighs> God damn it, man! I knew this game would do horror stuff. Oh man, I don't like that. I don't like the teleporting as much. Huh? You know what this is? They are a floppy disk. We used to store information on them with magnets, if you can believe it. Specifically, two micrometers magnetic iron oxide, three micrometers barium ferrite, a 1.2. Russell, how do you know all this? I'm reading it here on my computer. I downloaded the internet before the war. You downloaded the entire internet? <laughs> yeah, most of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah it is. That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's a joke that they used in Fly of the Concords. <laughs> where he talks about like downloading the internet. Fly of the Concords is like the TV show where it's like... Uh, that actor and a bunch of others ended up coming from... I only know their names from Play of the Concords, but they, I'm so glad that everything all worked out for them, but he's been, he's been all over the place, dude. Which is great, because he was a hilarious character in there. He was like the manager of their band, and he was like such an idiot. Okay. Ah. Ah. Dang, wires, man? Why do I hear... Oh, it's this little guy. He's the he's the one who's making all the noise. That's cool. I know, little buddy. Don't worry. You'll be safe. You'll be safe. It's okay. Nothing. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. Oh God. Ow. 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 It's like getting a tattoo. It's worth it. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I don't apologize. Nah. See, the weirdest thing about... Hey, there's a glowy thing here. <gasps> Noise! Stoinks! The weirdest thing about these index controllers is that there's like a strap around my wrist. So that's how I can let go of them without them falling out of my hands. But it's weird, because when you throw stuff, I instinctively think that I'm going to, like, lose the controller or something. Well, this doesn't look horrifying. This doesn't look like a completely different game. Alright, I need... I got this bucket, so that in case I get too scared, I can puke. What? Whoa. Whoa. It's like the NVIDIA eyeball. It's all green too. They must be Russell. advertising NVIDIA. Are you seeing this? Uh, possibly. Not really. Are you seeing floating garbage? It looks like <laughs> it's just cardboard. Right. Well, seems harmless. Yeah. Weird though. I'm really excited for what this game is going like, where this game is going to go. You know, I I've heard. Be careful, guys. There's people trying to spoil the ending to this game. And apparently it's really crazy, which I 
I could totally see. If, if we get a reference from the G-Man, I'm down. If we get to play as Gordon Freeman or something, I'm down. If they reference that they're working on another Half-Life that's actually like Half-Life 3, uh, that's going to be a mouse and keyboard game, then I'm down for that too. Like, this game's awesome, because I love VR, but I would kill for like an actual proper FPS Half-Life game as well, dude. That would be so insane. Okay, oh. Sorry, I just puking because of all of this. Uh, this is a little too crazy for me. These head crabs are skewered on things. What? Oh my god! I don't know what that is. Look at that. Like, what is? What are they all these? How many buttons do I gotta press? Or do I gotta like power it on or something? Dang, dude. This is so cool, just revisiting like City 17 myself in VR. The lighting and graphics and everything are so cool. Whoops, I'm sorry, I crushed that. Nah, I guess I just don't know my own strength. That was a really bad joke too. So, uh, I mean, obviously it's saying don't go in there, but I don't know how much of this we can destroy or change or whatever. I don't know if this is going to, like, electrocute me, but... Oh, look. Are those the buttons? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there's way too many button combinations. Oh! Okay. Okay. This just got real, man. It's Gordon Freeman! There's, uh... Yeah, there's all of the references to Half-Life 1, including the final boss from Half-Life 1. Did you guys know that the Black Mesa game uh, actually just recently came out of early access? That, that one's Black Mesa. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. Yeah. So Black Mesa, like there's Half-Life 1 which took place in Black Mesa and everything was all like crazy weird just like this but even more so. Uh, the aliens were invading the Vortigaunt creatures which is those guys right there. They were enslaved. They're all free now. Um, and the trick to it was that uh, with the Black Mesa game, it was actually created by modders, and then uh, Valve ended up actually like endorsing it and saying, yeah, you guys can sell this. You can make money on this. Because they were modding uh, Half-Life 1 to work within the Half-Life 2 engine. And it's really cool to see that they actually had released it. I don't know the, like... I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. This goes... The wire connects all the way to the hook, which, okay, cool, I get it. But I don't know what button combination they want me to do. Because they sure as heck don't want me to do all those buttons, do they? Because that would be ridiculous. Okay, I just picked one of them. Like, I saw it over there as the one that's just by old Gordon Freeman. Uh, my point being is that with the Black Mesa mod, they had the main game already done, but the Alien Homeworld, they just finished recently. And I've actually been really craving replaying through it. I actually had a Black Mesa series a long time ago. Anyways, I don't mean to go on these tangents. I just think that it's really cool how they're, like, introducing all of this. Ah, disgusting. It's just water. Alex, you all right? W what's wrong? I'm fine, Russell. What's up? I'm losing your signal. Alex? Alex? If you can still hear me, keep hitting in the 
same direction and, and try to get above ground. Russell? Russell? Crap. Yeah. Right. This is getting freaky. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Huh. Whoa, dude. What is this? Dude. This is weird. Like, look at all this, dude. It's so... You know this is story related. Like, there's not Gambi combat in here. What is going on? Hello? Are you gonna... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hello? Alex fans. <laughs> you received my message. I See, so that's the border gun. Come. Oh man! Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, he locked so himself off. What's that Vortigaunt doing here? Mm -hmm. ah, I did. Right, but I mean Jesus. in general. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. My brain is injured. That's terrible. Ow. And I hope. <laughs> Look, I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. The Eli, Eli Bands. Bands. Yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine. Yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate this way. I can't stick around. I. It is important. I know. I'm sure I like this it guy. is. The Alex Bands must go this way. Anyway. Okay. Uh -oh. Whoa. Okay. I can't interact with anything. Whoa. I really would, but the Alex Vance is honestly very busy saving her dad. You will not save him. He is dead. What? Or Whoa. he will be. Is Whoa. or will be. It is a matter of perspective. But Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. I... Look, thank you for everything, but... I really have to go, and I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The combine drilled here. I am severed from the vortescence. I am alone in my head. I'm sorry. Yeah, normally these guys are all connected. Look, if if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I have it. Then you will. Courage, Alex Vance. Cool. I like him, man. He's animated. Like, his animations are insane, dude. Especially over, like, Half-Life 2. So, for those that didn't play the uh, previous games, basically, the... I mean, obviously, it's a big meme at this point. Yeah, cool. The big meme at this point is that Half-Life 3 never came out, and Half-Life 2 had two DLCs, one of them ending on a huge cliffhanger where Alex's uh, father ended up dying, and then we never saw a uh, conclusion to that. I mean, this is a prequel, so it doesn't matter as much. What? 
I will help the Alex Vans. Look to the Northern Star. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. Uh, what? I'll eat it later. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. He's so cute, man. I did do 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 do. I'm gonna take you with me, little buddy. You are now my best friend. Tom Tom Thomas. Actually, just kidding. I'll throw him in there. I don't want to carry him around. Well, that was cool. <clears throat> Excited to see where this goes. God damn, this game's beautiful. It looks so good, you guys. Like most VR games because it's so graphically intensive, like just the VR headset in general, because it's actually at an insanely high resolution. But this is extremely well optimized. I was even reading on the discussion forums uh, on the Steam page and people saying how this game works with like really old graphics cards and stuff. And it's like, whoa, where am I? And it's pretty cool, you know, just that they've made something so accessible. Obviously, there's lots of complaints from people. Um, Why is it VR only and everything like that? Alex, and how V, you Alex, gotta spend a thousand dollars to play this? Are you okay? Russell, and it's like, I'm good. How's Dad? They've got him on the train. He's on the move. You gotta find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. And it's like, you don't have to, like, play this game with the index, dude. Like, it works with any other VR headset. Okay. Well, let's put... Hey, come on. Gotta put our hard hat on. Seems like we're about to go into battle. Can you... Ha. There we go. I wonder if I actually am supposed to wear this mask at one point. This ain't looking too good. Oh, jeez. They have a weak point! Aha! So they're cute little hearts! So anything happen when you cut out? You're not gonna These are weird this. ones. But I ran into a Vortigaunt. A Vortigaunt? What was he doing down there? I didn't. He was just in the combine. What did he say? You ever meet a Vortigaunt? He said crazy Vortigaunt. That's their only weak point. I'm not used to, like, how I can save ammo. What? Backpack only stores full magazines. Well, that's kind of weird. Can I pick up the one bullet? I can. I wonder if I could put it in the gun. Yeah, so these, uh... That's weird. These ones have a weak point, and it seems like that's the only place that you can hurt them. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. I'll examine them. Seems like that's exactly what all these guys were doing. Okay, we need a battery. Uh, boy, which I'm sure is in here. Okay. Means I gotta have... Jesus, that scared me. Means I gotta have good reaction time for when these guys drop down. Because you know that's what's gonna happen. Or not. That's cool. Whoop. Well, guess I didn't need that. Oh. I kind of want to do more hacking tool that? stuff. He did give me a head crab to eat. Oh, right. What did it taste like? Tell me how you. Russell. Russell. I didn't eat it. Right. Of course you didn't. No, that's that's the right decision. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so we can either go up there or sneak down here. I'm guessing sneaking down here is probably going to prevent death. I'm guessing all of these headcrabs being all over the place is because that Vortigaunt. It's interesting, too, how this game actually has... Oh, Jesus. Ah. Like, the lore behind the Combine is actually really, really dope. Where, uh, do I have to shoot something in here, I wonder? No, that's not explosive. I'm just kind of using my reticle to scan things. Ugh. 
But the way that the Combine work is as an alien species, they actually just came to Earth and kind of uh, ingrained themselves in politics and whatever else so that they could avoid a war, so they didn't have to destroy all of the human resources. Uh, and essentially they just go from world to world conquering and taking all of the best resources for themselves. Okay, he's got something I need. Oh, that zombie has a shotgun. <gasps> what? I'll take a shotgun. I like a pump action shotgun. Can I do this? That's too bad. You should be able to. Okay, woo! I'm gonna slowly float down, because that's what this game does. I know that this game's trying to, like, avoid people, like... Come on. People getting hurt. Uh, uh, like, just because of how VR works and everything. Do you hear that? Yeah. Let's get this shotgun and get out of here. Really? Why? Okay. Well, they want me to jump down, so... Okay, maybe they don't. I'm dead. What? <laughs> the hell was that? Okay, so do I have to crank this guy up a bit myself? Yeah. Let's get and this Oh. And get out of here. I see. Like, I gotta jam this in here, right? I hope. Because, yeah, there's, uh, there's something trying to break through these walls right now. I'm guessing this is shotgun ammo? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes! Open shotgun to load shells. Okay. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Um, um. Three left. We did. Woo! I love this gun. Is that the Oh, dude, that's so cool. I mean, it was just those guys, thank goodness. I thought it was going to be something even crazier, but... Huh. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, you know what? Jesus. I was trying to save ammo by using the pistol instead of the shotgun. Oh man, that means we can upgrade the shotgun. It's too bad it's not like a ch -ch -ch full on pump action. I would have preferred that. Uh, most of all, like a lot of the things that I'm kind of referencing uh, in terms of like just VR comparison is uh, there was another game idea series on called Boneworks. And that game was insanely cool. It, it essentially was... Uh, the, the developers were working on, like... It, it originally was, like, Half-Life characters. And head crabs and stuff. I don't need this. And then uh, Valve was basically like, Okay, this is cool. You guys can go ahead and make this. Just remove all the Half-Life stuff, because we'll make our own VR game. And it had, like, almost every... Like, it had such cool gun interaction. Um, but it didn't have, like, a shotgun. Ooh. Oh! Eli being fancy. Loading up multiple clips at a time. Oh, because we can have four shots at a time out of this bad boy. Dude. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you cute little monster. I didn't know it would make him explode. Aha. I should get ready with my, like, 
pistol as well. I mean, I know they want me to use the shotgun, but I don't want to waste it on head crabs. I'll use it on this guy, though. There's something in there to interact with. I think that's a gun upgrade station. Hey, man! Oh, Jesus. I think I tagged his explosive, right? Okay. Oh, God. That's right. Ah! Ah! Die, die, die. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so low on ammo in this game all the time. Like, they're giving me a lot, but then it goes so quick. Okay. There is starting to be multiple pathways here. Ah! Weapon station! Whoa. Uh. Okay. What's, what's the deal here? Do I put it here? I don't understand. Oh, right. I gotta do like this. Alright. What can I do to my shotgun? Laser sight? <laughs> Double shot? Auto loader? That's no fun. Grenade launcher? Ugh. What about my pistol? Can I do anything yet? Burst fire. Well, I guess I'll get the laser sight. Or should we save up? Double shot doesn't seem like it serves a purpose because I'm sure the enemies aren't going to be all that strong. Let's just do this, though. That's all my resin. It's cool how the gun actually, like, changes. Oh, that should come in handy. Ooh. Oh, damn. It's just like a 3D, like, perspective image thing. Like, I don't even need to look down a sight or something. Okay, that's dope. I'm glad I got that. That's really dope. Oh, hey. I'll put him over there. Okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna break? Whoops. Uh, I did that on purpose. Right? God, all this stuff just making such creepy ass noises. I don't know how many areas I can end up exploring either. How's my health? Okay, we're missing a heart in a little bit, so. I know you cutums! Oh god. Whoops, down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh god. Don't look. Don't look at him. Ow. Ow. Done. Okay, so apparently we can go up the ladder and go up top, but... I'm kind of curious if there's anything else down here sort of thing. Like, I don't know which way is the right way, but I'm assuming the ladder is probably the proper uh, pathway. Ow! I just broke that on myself. <laughs> okay, that's the right way, it seems. Warning, too dark. I see a weird tentacle icon which tells me that there's too dark. You'll need a flashlight. Uh, really? I think you're right. Okay. That's kind of weird that they just blatantly, "Oh, you need a flashlight if you want to go up here, Alex." Like I mean, I guess whatever. You can change in the settings, too, so that you don't have to climb as well. I should have mentioned. Like, there's all sorts of different settings for comfortability, which is really good that they have all this stuff. Certain VR games still don't have it, It's which is weird. Okay. One more shot. No. Oh, I see. We got one in the chamber. Ah, oh, okay. 
That's what that's what this top dot means. Like, yeah. Okay. What were they protecting? They are stingy as hell with the shotgun ammo, man. I don't blame them. What? I hear something through this door. I wonder if there's secrets. Like, secret pathways that you could take. That'd be really interesting. Okay, I kind of want to... I kind of want to shoot that, like, there was an explosive by that guy. Well, that's one way of getting downstairs. Or down the ladder, whatever. God, it's beautiful. It's so gross, but it looks so good, guys. I hope that that full smooth is going to work out. I obviously can't look at it until I'm editing the video, but... Alright, this is going to work out, right? Uh, hey! Don't you throw that at me, that's rude, man. Hey, I said, don't! Really? You're still fine? Three shells left. Okay. I like how she calls out the amount of ammo that you have. That's actually pretty good. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to tell. Why can't I wear a cardboard box? So that means we have to end up going backwards. Let's show. Because we need a flashlight. Oh my god, that looks cool. Huh? Ah! Jesus! Oh my god, I didn't know that was one of them! I just heard the noise! That means that's a bunch of them too? Please don't attack me. Okay. Looking looking so far so good. I mean my shotgun ready. I don't I don't trust this. I mean I get attacked. Yep. There's my flashlight. Wow, this doesn't look creepy at all. Prepare the health injector. Why? Do I need health? No, I don't. That's cool, because I can probably... Backpack only stores ammo and resin. Oh, right! So I gotta put it on my... Uh... I keep forgetting I have my wrist pockets. Do we really only have... Damn it. We only have one more shotgun shell. It's so dark and scary down here. Whew. Ah! Ah! Ow! 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. It was on your face and it, oh, it was disgusting. Yeah, it was. I couldn't even tell it was on my face. It's too dark. Well, that's more shoddy shells. Four shells left. Last two. Five shells in this bad boy? Okay. too dark this this flashlight had better just go on to my head or something attach the flashlight to the gravity glove oh thank god okay I mean I guess that's one way to do it you know what I, I wish I could kind of take it off, honestly. I kind of want it on this hand instead, because this is the hand that I'm using the gun with. Okay, so these...
These are radioactive ones. That's why they're hurting me so much, by the way. <sighs> oh my god. I'm guessing they just really want me to be using the... <laughs> Die, please! They really want me to be using the shotgun. Uh... Uh... Oh, God. This is... This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't it's worry. It's really dark. Russ? Yeah? No, it's okay. Can you just... Talk? About what? No. About anything. I want it. Literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Okay, that was my fault. I'll be more specific next time. <laughs> and then I like how he blames her. <sighs> okay, well that was easy. Big we good? This flashlight. And it, yeah. not unlike yourself, is also sensitive to the dark. Oh yeah? Meaning it should go on automatically when the lights go out. Hmm. Nice. Oh, I see. So it's gonna just turn off. Uh, I guess just on our person, right? What if I got to this part and I didn't have any ammo? Then what? Oh god! Now they're all gonna wake up. I knew this would happen. I'm all discombobulated. Where am I? Uh, uh, there we go. I'm trying to stay in the center of the green screen too for you guys. There we go. You a head crab? Oh, can I wear it as a helmet? <laughs> okay. Well, that worked, I guess. Oh, jeez. Are they going to have more enemies respawn now? Yep. God, you blow through ammo quick. Maybe the flashlight doesn't automatically turn off. Maybe it's that it automatically turns on, because I don't know what I'm doing. One more in the chamber. Okay. Remember when we came here and there was that explosive barrel? It seems like this is what it was for. When we put both hands on the gun, it stabilizes it so it doesn't recoil as much. Oh my god. Well, that just wasted a whole crap ton of my bullets. Because that explosive barrel that was here, I wasn't supposed to use it on those zombie guys. Oh my god. All right, I need Russ. my shotgun ready. Really need you to talk again. Absolutely. Be specific. Um, before. What was life like before the combine? Ah, excellent. Alex, have you ever heard of a club sandwich? Uh, nope, not once. Right. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day, okay? You add tomatoes, lettuce, not what? vegetable paste, fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we used to call the pig. You toast the bread, and you put all that inside it. You guys had all that? That's insane. It is, and I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey, and more tomato, more lettuce, <laughs> and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was six inches tall and weighed a pound, and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before ours. Wow. I know, right? That is... <sighs> wow. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome. Well, that didn't get rid of this, uh, barnacle. However, I did notice that there is this. Hey! Hey! How's my health doing? I'm down one heart, so it's not that big a deal, but... Ah! 
Too dark, man. Can't see anything. Oh, there's the health item. These gravity gloves are so handy. Sorry, the Russells. I'm sorry, little guy. It was kill or be killed and... Ow, 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 ow. All right, that's a lot of explosive barrels, man. Jeez. Oh my god. Okay, how are we on time? Yeah, okay. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I think we're gonna have to call it here. Good a time as ever now that we got the flashlight and stuff, but... Woo, doggy! What an awesome game, seriously. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. If you have, you know, smash like, sub for more, hit that notification bell. You guys know how it is. You can buy some of the merch you want to support the channel, and otherwise, have yourselves a fantastic day. Sign up and stay up at Gamers.